What's up again, everybody? This is Jose Gagnon, the super random guy, here again today. And uh, I know I said out in uh, when I was finishing up season seven of Thomas the Train that I wasn't going to be doing any more commentaries on the show, but I just decided to do a very special uh, commentary on an episode from season nine, one that I pretty much enjoyed a lot, which is called Mighty Mac, which is which uh, introduces a new character, which is, that's the name of the new character, Mighty Mac. And this one is a very, like, you know, random and interesting character, as we're about to see here in a couple minutes. So hopefully you enjoy it, get the greatness, have the amazing happy times, everybody. And let's keep it rolling now. You already know how the things go here. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Yeah, man. I see Mac. It was summertime on the island of Sobo. Look on. Look a little closer. Nothing is what it seems. Supernatural, now streaming on Disney Plus. Lots of holiday makers were coming to the island. They like to see the beautiful forests and the high mountains. It was a busy time for all the engines. A new engine had arrived on the island. He was going to help take the holidaymakers up into the mountains. Thomas had arrived at the transfer yard. He was very excited to meet the new engine. Hello, Puff Thomas. Hello. The new engine puffed back. I'm mighty. And I'm Mac. And together we're Mighty Mac. They whistled happily. So this is what I meant, that it's a very random and interesting character. You know, it's, you know, one single train, but he has two faces on each end. And I guess, you know, they they just like both have their own personalities, which is like the most randomest thing you'd ever expect to see in a show like Thomas the Train. So that's definitely going to cause some problems when they're trying to go do some work, because, you know, since they both have different personalities, but they're both connected to each other, they can't really, you know, they're not going to really get along a lot, to be honest, as, as we're about to see here in a couple minutes. Thomas had never seen such an unusual engine before. Then the thing controller, Mr. Percival, arrived. Mighty Mac, you are to take some holiday makers to the mountain campsite, said Mr. Percival. Mighty Mac could see the holiday makers. They were waiting on the platform. But there were lots of tracks between Mighty Mac and the holiday makers. Mighty Mac didn't know how to get to the platform. We've always worked in the shunting yard, moaned Mighty to Thomas. How will we find our way over to the passengers, groaned Mac. It's simple, whistled Thomas. Look at where you want to go, then follow the track that will take you there. Mighty set off nervously. And now this is where the problems are going to be coming in, because they're each going to want to go different ways. And they're just going to keep, like, you know, pulling... They're going to be pulling at each other and just wanting to take different routes because they just they just don't know how to agree together. But as they puffed along the track, Mac thought his way was quicker. This way, he said. No, Mac, Puff Mighty, it's this way. Soon they were puffing left and right, backwards and forwards. They were very confused. They even had a ride on the turntable. Then at last, we're here, puffed Mac. Then why are the holiday makers over there? asked Mighty. Because you didn't look where you wanted to go and you didn't follow the right track, said Mr. Percival sternly. Now you're late. Sorry, said Mac. Sorry, said Mighty. They felt very silly. Finally, the passengers were on board. Mighty Mac puffed through the countryside on the way to the campsite. We have to get there before dark, chuffed Mighty, so we'll have to work extra hard. 
then in the mountains there was a fork in the track. Mighty wanted to go left. This way! Huh? No! Go the other way! shouted Mac. But Mighty was already pulling him past the fork. Mac was cross. So now they're just going to keep getting themselves into more problems because they just don't know how to agree together and, you know, just try to, you know, like, you know, like, try to just try to agree on things. They just want to, you know, like, do, like, their own thing, like, even though they're, like, both attached to, like, the same, you know, like, they're, they're, they're both, like, the same engine, just like, two, like I said, just two faces on one engine. So, you know, that's what happens when you got two... When you got, you know, two faces on a train and, you know, they got different personalities, they just don't know how to get along. The next time they came to a fork in the track, Mac wanted to go the other way again. This way, he puffed, and he pulled Mighty back to the junction. And then pushed them back up the other line. Now Mighty was cross. They puffed through the mountains, and whenever they came across a junction, Mighty would push one way, then Mac would pull the other. The holiday makers were having a very bumpy ride. They spilled their tea and their bums went flying. But Mighty Mac pressed on. Then there was trouble. They had arrived at a dead end. The holidaymakers had a look around. This isn't a campsite, said one of the holidaymakers. It's not even a nice place for our picnic, said another. This is your fault, Puff Mighty. And he pushed back towards Mac. Yours, Puff Mac. And he pushed back even harder. The holidaymakers watched as Mighty Mac bumped backwards and forwards. Stop! Call the holidaymakers, you're going to cause an accident. But it was too late. Mighty pushed Mac as hard as he could, and the carriage crashed into the rocks. First one rock fell, then another rock. Soon, lots of rocks came tumbling down. The track was blocked, and they were all stuck. We'll never get to the campsite now, moaned the holidaymakers. And it was all Mighty Mac's fault. They felt terrible. It was getting late. The holidaymakers were working hard. They were trying to get the coach back onto the rails. Then, with a mighty heave, the holidaymakers lifted the carriage back onto the track. Mighty Mac was watching the holidaymakers. When the holiday makers worked together, hooted Mighty, they lifted the heavy carriage onto the track, tooted Mac. So now that, you know, they saw the passengers working together, they're going to try to work together too, because, you know, they know that working together will, will solve the problems and not cause more problems, pretty much. Then they had an idea. If we both work together, Puff Mighty... We'll be strong enough to push those rocks out of the way, Puff Mac. So Mighty Mac rolled up to the rocks and pushed and pushed. The rocks rumbled. Then they rocked until finally the track was cleared. The holiday makers cheered. Mighty Mac was ready to go. They could see the flag flying high above the campsite. Then they remembered what Thomas had said. Look where you want to go, Puff Mac. Then follow the track that will take you there, Chuff Mighty. Off we go, they whistled together. Mighty Mac puffed up the mountains. And soon they arrived at the campsite. The holiday makers were very happy. And Mighty Mac was very proud. You know, Mac... Weesh, Mighty. When we pull together and work together, we can be a very useful engine, whistled Mac. And they set off happily back down. 
So that was episode four of season nine, Mighty Mac. This will, this I promise you all will will be will definitely be the very last Thomas video that I'll be doing. That I'll be doing here on uh, on my channel. So hopefully you enjoyed it. You know, get the greatness, have the amazing happy times. Enjoy yourselves whenever you can, and we'll see you, everybody, in the next video now. Yeah, yeah. Have the great, amazing times, everybody. See you next time. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Yeah, man.